the southernmost tip of Vietnam, Cà province, could disappear in the coming decades due to rising sea levels, according to an assessment by the Norwegian Geotechnical Institute. 50% of shrimp in Vietnam are produced in this area, but the local shrimp industry is also damaging the mangrove forest ecosystem, accelerating the speed of land erosion. In our, in our edition of um, Vietnam in Close Up this week, let's learn about a shrimp farming model that can solve this dilemma. Zero Ang reports. From this tiny shrimp lover to this healthy big adult shrimp, no feeding, no antibiotics, no chemicals are needed. In fact, all that is necessary is that farmers must raise their shrimp in their mangrove forests and ensure the mangroves achieve a 50% cover rate. This is what the Mangrove and Markets or MAM project is all about. The MAM project has helped farmers like Hung Hung Duyet reap the benefits of mangroves in shrimp cultivation. In the past, we did everything based on our experience, but with the MAM training programs, we've acquired techniques about how to spread the larvae density and salinity levels. Our income has increased about 15%. The shrimps are now also bigger, from 20 shrimps per kilo to now 16 to 17 per kilo. In the past, farmers in Kamau province would chop down the mangrove to have more space to raise shrimp. Due to this intensive farming practice over the past decades, more than half of Vietnam's natural mangrove forests have been cleared. People used to only see the short-term benefits, which led to the damage of the forest and indiscriminate construction of ponds. They only thought that with more ponds, they can raise more shrimps. They didn't realize its severe effects on the mangroves, which led to more problems. These mangrove forests provide ideal habitat for the shrimps. When these leaves fall down and decompose, they provide a good source of nutrients for the shrimps. As such, the MAM project has proved that shrimps grown in these forests are more resilient to disease and require no chemicals. Integrating mangroves and shrimp farming serves as a dual purpose. While it increases the value of shrimps, it also helps to restore the mangrove ecosystem, uh, helping to deal with the growing effects of climate change. Besides maintaining a 50% mangrove coverage on their shrimp farms, the farmers must obey strict rules on quality and safety standards to produce organic product as part of their main project commitments. Our shrimps have to meet the criteria in order to be part of this project and to ensure that our larvae must meet certain standards first. Then we must closely control use of chemicals during our farming process. All the products must have clear origins and certification. Marked organic, this shrimp could be granted natural land certificate, a passport to several European markets. Ming Fu Seafood Corporation, a leading shrimp exporter, has made a commitment to buy all certified organic shrimp produced by shrimp farmers under the MAM project. The shrimps are very tasty and have good color. Using green shrimp raising techniques would open up new export opportunities. Consumers now increasingly prefer organic and safe food, so I think the market for these products have ample potential to expand. Vietnam has ratified the TPP, um, which has enormous sort of positive opportunities for Vietnam. Certification, whether you're talking about shrimp, is an indispensable um, tool that Vietnam can use to ensure that its products and its services meet international standards. So you're no longer competing just on price, but you're competing on, 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 on quality as well. The MAM project is funded by German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety and implemented by SNV, an International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN. After three years of implementation, 80 hectares of mangrove forests have been replanted, where nearly 2,000 farmer households have been trained. The project has done a very good job in helping to introduce a new concept 
of sustainable shrimp farming. It may not produce as many shrimp as the farmers would like, but we know that intensive shrimp farming in Vietnam and other countries is not sustainable. It degrades the environment, the shrimp get diseases, and basically the farmers lose their investment. Thanks to the initial results, Cà Mau's authority plan to scale up the project to 20,000 hectares of integrated mangrove shrimp farms by 2020. Currently, Cà Mau is one of Vietnam's shrimp exporting hubs, but it is also the locality that is most affected by climate change. Initiatives like MAM can generate sustainable economic growth with much respect to environmental protection. Zhu Ang for VTV International, Cà Mau Province.